idea that basically we all have habits. It's just whether or not those habits serve us the best mm. way. To so we start off with the habits that we learn. We learn habits um, as they're modeled by our family, by our parents, grandparents, the people that raise us, the people that we spend a lot of time with, even teachers. Um, they are learned through lived experiences, both positive and negative. They are learned from habits of, of trauma-informed experience. And through those learned habits, we then come down to these coping habits that are serving us in a way that they're soothing us, they're protecting us. Um, soothing, kind of like your example of Ben and Jerry's ice cream that you used, it's soothing. So some of these soothing coping habits they're not necessarily bad, but they can be bad. You know, those of us who have any friends or relatives who have struggled with any sort of addiction to alcohol or drugs or, or anything else, the list goes on and on of things that can be addictive behaviors. Those are coping behaviors. Those are behaviors that crop up when we need to soothe, we need to, we need to protect, we need to, we need to not engage in our life. Not everybody experiences that. But I think we all experience behaviors that we use to soothe and protect. So then we're in this land of, I'm starting to recognize that these habits that I've learned and these habits that I'm employing for coping, they're really not serving me. I'm beginning to be aware that some of them may be harmful. And even if they're not harmful, they're, may, they're probably not helpful. Mm. And I want to change but I don't really know how to change. And so then I kind of am in this land of, well, this is just how I am. This is how I learned. Well, if this feels good, why is it wrong? And, and we, we tend to get maybe a little complacent and we tend to maybe- or Sounds like bit. defensive too. Yeah, sometimes totally defensive and stuck, even if we don't want to be. So I like to look at these, habits that are hindering us, the things that are sabotaging us. Why are they sabotaging us? What have we learned and what are we using for coping that are keeping us from moving on? And that's when we start going into uncovering these root behaviors and belief systems and creating a pathway, a clearer pathway of accountability and visioning and newer awarenesses and this is where I co-create with my clients. I am not in charge of your habits. You are in charge of your habits, but I will, through my own experience and expertise, help you to co-create ones that feel right and aligned for your life. Mm. And that is with the ultimate goal of getting to loving habits, where we're employing real healing self-care, where we're aware of our saboteurs so that when they do crop up, because they will, it's a cycle, it's a circle for a reason because they will continue to crop up for us. But when we've gone through this journey, we're able to look at, oh, that's why I'm using that coping habit. Because I love that you mentioned that they'll continue to crop up for us. That feels so- Yeah. It's just gentle to say that it's a circle it's a and it's going to continue. Yes. But hopefully we're catching things faster. We're noticing yes. things yes. faster. For sure. For sure. Mm. Well, that's my habit circle. It's still evolving. I but love your evolving habits. I'm so glad that as we were getting ready to leave, you mentioned it because I am, I just, I'm so, it's so, it's, it's, a, it's an outstanding tool and I'm really excited to be able to both know about it and be able to share it with others. Thank you, Thank you for Thank sharing you. that.